Let's also note the position of the rest of the body. The right arm swings backward, coming up to an angle of 20 to 30 degrees. While for decades we've stated you should hold your arm at 90 degrees, most elite walkers hold theirs at an angle at slightly less than 90 degrees. The key is for your hand to swing to just behind the hip. If you're holding your arm at 85 degrees and it's not swinging back far enough, try opening your arm angle from 90 to 95 degrees. The variation can be for many reasons, including a difference in the ratio between your upper and lower arm. Finally, note the ratio of the stride in front and behind the body. It should be roughly 30-70. How you measure it matters. In this case, we are measuring the front of the stride from the point of heel contact to the center of the torso, and the rear portion of the stride from the center of the torso to the point of toe-off. Then the body moves forward over the left leg. This is where walkers tend to violate part of the definition of race walking. The leg must remain straightened until it's in the vertical position. Once the leg is beyond the vertical position, it may bend. However, when it comes time to lift your heel off the ground, if your leg is still straightened, you get an extra thrust by pushing off your rear foot. With proper flexibility and strength, your leg stays straightened longer and you obtain this advantageous thrust. Ideally, the leg remains straightened until the heel of the rear foot lifts off the ground. Then roll up onto the toe of your rear foot. Notice that as the rear leg leaves the ground, the front leg is already in position.